Jeanne Ebutin is the subject of Modigliani's marvellous portrait. She was his muse, his lover, and his inspiration. This portrait was painted in 1919. Within a few months, he had died of tuberculosis, and she, grief-stricken, committed suicide. There's strong evidence to suggest that she was pregnant. It's a story of enormously poignant tragedy. Modigliani lived life totally tempestuously. He did drugs, he did drink, and he died young. He was incredibly undisciplined, but marvelously talented. I think that with this portrait, rather contrary to the way he lived his life, Modigliani exercises an absolutely beautiful restraint. It's a marvelous synthesis of several different elements that are novel and striking. For instance, you've got this very powerful influence of African art in the shape of the face. It's sort of mask-like. Then there's this sinuous elongation of the neck and the body and the very beautiful arrangement of the hands and the arms. A strong evocation of both Botticelli and the Italian mannerists. Then there are interesting cubist elements, particularly in the background, in the angles at which the doorway and the chair are positioned. He's a wonderful colorist. There's that beautiful lemon green in the doorway behind the sitter. There's the red of the scarf. It has a tremendous compositional pull in the center of the work. And finally, the color which I think is most significant is the blue of her eyes. In other portraits of Jeanne, he doesn't actually articulate the eyes. They're just they're almond lozenges looking out a little blindly. But here, he's articulated them. He's given them this wonderful blue. They're looking out, not at us, but at Modigliani. I think he's deployed a number of means to create an image of love, of beauty, and an image of great sadness. Modigliani has come to symbolize a passionate, artistic engagement with life. He is the ultimate rebel, he's the ultimate bohemian artist.